everybody welcome back to my channel this is Cindy and I'm very happy you're here okay so today's video I want to talk as you already saw in the title about my experience with COVID-19 so I was diagnosed with COVID I'm gonna say a little bit over two weeks ago and it was funny because I would joke around and like I would say oh I'm never gonna get it and I would joke around about it and say um, like it'd be funny if like I got it but because I didn't think I would until a couple like weeks ago I started having um, symptoms and I just thought it was like a common cold or you know the flu or something because it didn't start off too bad so this video I kind of want to talk about you know what I went through how it felt and what I did to get better because now I'm feeling so much better like I don't think I have any I don't have any symptom at all so it's just scary when you see on the news and you see that so many people were dying from COVID and you just wonder like, why do some people make it and some people don't? It's just like a question that I always had. But I never thought that I would be going through it alongside with my family. So, but anyway, so I want to talk about how it started. Um, I started having some symptoms and the first thing I remember, I think it was on a, I think it was Wednesday night, I started having like a really bad headache. I think that's how it started off. Really bad headache and then um, that night, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like drenched in sweat. So I, I had a fever, I was like sweating bad, but my body felt cold. Like I had chills and I, if it, I just felt uncomfortable. And at first I didn't think I had, like I said, I just had a common cold because it was kind of symptoms of when you have a cold, you have, you know, fever, chills, and and um, headaches, that's normal. But then later down the week, um, I started having like a lot of pressure in my chest and I felt like every time I coughed, my chest would hurt and it would just like a chest tightness and it was just very horrible. My headaches got worse, uh, the chills got worse, the fever went up and down. I did notice that about the fever it was like it wasn't a constant fever but it would like go up and down um, throughout the days so then a couple days into that I'm gonna say like mm, five days into it five to four days I lost my sense of smell and taste that was so horrible to me because I have very sensitive smell and I couldn't smell anything and I couldn't taste anything. I tried to eat like all these different things. I had um, like lemon squeezed juice and then I had Takis, hot Cheetos, like things you would normally really taste. And I didn't taste any of it. I didn't smell any of it. So I remember during the whole time I did lose 10 pounds during the two weeks. I lost 10 pounds because I wasn't hungry. So in my head, I guess I was like, why am I gonna eat if I can't even taste? So I would just sleep it off and I would just um, like avoid eating because I just didn't feel like why, why should I eat if I don't taste it. So I just didn't eat. So I lost 10 pounds. I probably gained them back up by now. But but anyways, that's not the point. The point is that um, after that, um, you don't feel like doing anything. You just want to be in bed, your body hurts and it's like you won't understand really how what it feels until you go through it um my mom was actually the one that started with it and i kind of was like playing around with her and i was telling her like you're exaggerating like i'm sure it doesn't feel that bad and i'm sure you'll be fine but when i got it i understood that it felt super bad so some of the things that we did um we did get med some medicine um it's not for the covid because i'm pretty sure there's no medicine for the covid yet uh, but they gave us like an antibiotic just in case we had a um, like a some bacteria or something in our chest or an infection excuse me and they gave us a cough syrup because our cough was really bad um, they said and they didn't want to develop to um, something bigger so they gave us those medicines and then so I think that really helped us um, also what we would do is we would always be doing these teas well, my mom, not me, because I don't like them, but she forced me to drink them. And I'm glad she did because they actually really helped me. Um, so she would put like pieces of lime, lemon, cinnamon sticks, um, cucumbers, 
cucumbers. Um, and then she would put, what is this called? Ginger L or something? Ginger? Anyway, I'm sorry. I, I should be giving y'all tips. Okay, let me tell you. All right. Lemon, cinnamon sticks. Like, not like churritos. No, 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 no. Not like, not like churros you get at Jack in the Box. When I say cinnamon sticks, I'm talking about literally a stick, a cinnamon stick, okay? Um, my sister's over here laughing at me. Um, so yeah, lemon, cinnamon sticks. Um, I think she had a cucumber slices. She would just like boil it with water and then she would pour it in and then she would put honey with it. Like not syrup for your pancakes, but pure cane honey. And then she would just mix it up and guys, that really did help. I highly recommend that you look online for uh, recipes for teas um, because those really helped my chest, my throat, like after I drank them, even though they were gross and disgusting, like they're not good. I'm not gonna lie and say they're good. They're not good. But I did see a big difference after I drank those. So also another thing that we used was Vicks. <laughs> and you have, no, you heard that Vicks works with everything. Vicks really helped uh, with my chest tightness. Like I just felt I could kind of breathe better too. Like I couldn't smell yet, but I could breathe better and it was just kind of like a sense of relief with that. So that helped. Um, sleep a lot. If your body's asking for it, go ahead and do it. Like don't feel bad that you're so tired when you have COVID because that's one of the symptoms. Um, uh, so uh, another tip that I would say, always wearing your mask, take little trips outside. That's another thing that helped me and my mom. We would obviously make sure that there was no people around and then we would just take little walks around our neighborhood, like around our house, not like all the way down there, but around our house. Take little walks because sometimes you just need that peace of mind and you need to get out of your room or wherever you're quarantined. That really helped us a lot. We would just kind of go like in the evening when the sun was setting and there was no people around. We would wear our mask and walk around and just kind of breathe and that was another thing that really helped us. Um, but you're gonna get through this. If, you have, if you're struggling with COVID, just stay positive, think positive. And I know it's a scary thing to think about it, but be strong-minded. And then you're, if you're strong-minded, you're gonna be, your body's gonna attach to that positivity and you're gonna be able to handle it. So I highly suggest, um, don't stress out. I know that it's a scary thing because when they told me I had it, I was like, whoa. And I made all those jokes about getting it and now look. So stay positive. It's rough because you know, who likes to be stuck at home for more than 14 days without being able to, you know, see anybody or go out. But you can do this. Think happy thoughts, like they say. Um, take care of yourself, like that's really important. Your peace of mind, stay strong. If someone's trying to help you, accept that help as much as they, you know, as much as they wanna be close to you, sometimes they can't. But appreciate those people. I appreciate the people so much that were texting me, like checking up on me. Usually I'm really bad at that and I'm need to, I need to work on it, but I appreciate those people that would send me the text messages like how are you doing how's your mom doing and it was like an everyday thing and i was like really grateful for that and believe it or not you know it feels good to have those texts sent to you so just appreciate the people that are trying to help you in every way that they can um you're gonna get through it you got this you know stay positive pray god is with you believe that god's gonna heal you and you know guys when i went through this i was like the first thing I said to myself was, if God permitted me to go through this, it's for a reason. I'm not gonna complain. I'm, I'm not gonna be afraid or try not to be afraid because God has a purpose, okay? God has control. Everything you go through, he's gonna help you through it. So I appreciate you guys watching my video. It's just some tips and some stress-free things you should try at home. You know, don't, like I said, don't stress out too much about it. You got this and God's got you and you have, your family and just be thankful for every day that you wake up and thanks for my friend Miriam she suggested this video topic which I thought was really cool um, so other people could kind of see that there is some positivity some positivity that can come out of this so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or any comments or any video ideas always remember comment down below if you're not subscribed please join this beautiful family that we have here 
thank you guys for all your subscriptions for all you 222 subscribers that i have i'm so happy that y'all are here share my videos and i hope y'all you guys enjoy if you're not subscribed yet subscribe down below um thanks for watching and we will see you really soon on our next video bye thank you everybody